with the Intel 11 Gen CPU finally available, we can put the Z590 Aorus Extreme we have here to the test. After some time meddling with the motherboard and the 11 Gen CPU, this is the result of our test. It's been quite a while since Gigabyte announced their new Z590 series motherboards and finally we managed to get our hands on one of them. So what we have here today is the top end offering they have which is the Z590 Aorus Extreme. So for the top end motherboards, you can expect some pretty much top end, high end features and other accessories included. So starting off with the design, the Z590 Aorus Extreme right here has a minimalistic design that actually fits the taste of some enthusiasts who doesn't really want to have a fancy and over exaggerated design on their motherboard. So here we can see a full coverage thermal armor design on both the front and the back. So this armor is actually metal not plastic so it will help with the cooling on the chipset and VMA SSD and some of the other components that is in direct contact with the metal parts of the armor RGB elements is still present on the motherboard but at just some specific location instead of the entire board so that's I'm cool with that because I'm not really a fan of RGB since the beginning and if we compare the heatsink with the previous gen design, the heatsink on the Z590 Aorus Extreme is noticeably larger. So that will really help with the cooling on the VRMs and components that is connected to it. On the connectors such as the EPS 8 pin, DIMM slot and PCIe, you can see this metal armor shield that has solder point at the back of the PCB. This shield will help to strengthen the port so it doesn't come off together if you yank it. And so that's the appearance at the front of the motherboard. So if we take a look from the side, you can see that there's a lot of connectors right here. So one of my favorite is actually the 24 pin ATX which is in this 90 degree orientation. So that really helps with the cable management a lot. But it might vary because of the case you are using. For smaller case, you might be having some problem with cable management because of this. So it's recommended for you to go with maybe a bigger mid tower or full tower if you're going to use this motherboard for your system. The ATX 24 pin aside, you also find other connectors which is in the same orientation. Storage wise, you can install up to 6 SATA devices and of course, 3 more NVMe SSD. Of course, if you need more NVMe SSD or plan to do RAID on it, you can always use the included adding card right here, which is a pretty good inclusion for the Z590 Aorus Extreme. As for the audio, Gearbyte actually did quite an intensive work on the onboard audio. It's way more capable than your average onboard audio and even some of the lower end dedicated sound card. Though it's still not enough to replace a dedicated high end audio card, it's more of an option for those who doesn't want to go through the trouble of having an extra dedicated audio card just for the sake of better audio. And if you are an enthusiast overclockers who likes to play with the settings of your system, there are some interesting switches and buttons on the Z590 Aorus Extreme for you to play with such as the boost button, the Q code for troubleshooting, easy access power button recess and of course dual bio switch button right here under this cover. Now for the rear I.O. we can see that that's actually tons of USB ports right here which is my favorite because I need a lot of USB ports for my devices. Especially the two Thunderbolt 4 ports right here. And for the network, you get 110 GBE and 2.5 GBE LAN. 
So that's pretty sufficient for a lot of users nowadays. And for the wireless, you get the usual Wi-Fi 6, which is the new standard nowadays. Though compared to the previous Gigabyte motherboards, you get not one but two antennas. So that will help to give you better signal strength compared to last time. So that's pretty much it for the outlook and design of the Z590 Aorus Extreme. Let's take a look at the performance we can expect from this. For our test, we actually tested both the 10 Gen i9 and 11 Gen i9 on this motherboard. Gaming performance wise, you can check out another video of ours which using this motherboard and both the Intel 11 Gen and 10 Gen CPU for more information. For those of you who don't feel like watching the other video, well, here's a quick summary for you. The performance difference between both Z590 and Z490 is pretty much negligible for the same CPU of course, because from our test, the performance difference in terms of number is very close and under 2 frames unless you really want to have the new features such as PCIe 4 of course, then you can go with the 11 gen else you can always go with 10 gen and stick it on the z590 only you don't get the pcie 4. yeah so that's for the gaming performance now let's move on to something that's more appealing to overclockers and enthusiasts perhaps memory overclocking so for memory overclocking i can say that it's definitely better than the z490 because we've tried both cpus 10 gen and 11 gen of course on both Z490 and Z590, I can say that on the Z590, we can actually do better with existing memory kits we have that goes probably up to 4800 MHz but can do better on the newer chipset. So that's something you guys might want to take note of if you really like to play around with the memory overclocking settings. Performance may vary depending on the memory kits you are using but if you are planning to play around with high frequency kits like those special bin DDR4-5000 or above the Z590 paired with 11 gen Intel CPU will definitely give you better advantage on that and if you plan to stick with the 10 gen well you'll still be able to get some boost thanks to the Z590 chipset though it's not going to be as good as when it's paired with an 11 gen CPU now we've seen the design, features and capabilities of what the Z590 Aorus Extreme right here has. It's down to the price of the product itself. So according to Gigabyte Malaysia, the official price for the Z590 Aorus Extreme is priced at 3,879 Ringgit Malaysia, which is a very steep price or a premium price, I would say. But looking at the features and, you know, other accessories included with this motherboard, it puts the product itself at the same tier as the competing MSI Z590 Godlight and ASUS ROG Maximus 13 formula. 13, right? For that price tag, I will say it's somewhat reasonable for those of you who can really afford an enthusiast grade motherboard. For me, I really like this board myself personally but there are some pros and cons which i would like to highlight before we end this video so for the pros yes you get quite an amount of boost in terms of performance as compared to the previous gen chipset the z490 and the connectors at the side in this orientation really helps with the cable management but given that if you are using a really big case and of course the crazy amount of USB ports you get at the back of the rear I.O. So yes, I think this is my personal favorite features on this motherboard. And for the cons, well, as of now, there's only one for me, which is this big piece of metal that's covering the other two NVMe slots. So the first slot can be taken off if you really want to access only one of the PCIe slots. But if you want to get more SSD installed on this motherboard, well, you're out of luck because you have to remove all the screws securing this big piece of metal right here in order to access the remaining two PCIe slots. 
So is this motherboard worth it? Well, personally, I will say that this motherboard is worth the investment if you really want to use all the useful features it has. For those of you who don't really care about the extra accessories included, as well as the Thunderbolt ports, this is not your thing. So to sum up our video for today, the Z590 Aorus Extreme is the board for enthusiasts, overclockers, who has the extra money to spend on their next upgrade. So do let us know what do you think about this motherboard. Will you get one if you manage to get yourself an 11 gen CPUs? Do let us know in the comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video.